The wheels are set in motion for the Russian military to take joint control of several points across the Syrian border with the Turkish military. We are two kilometres away from the town of Ain al-Arab at the moment. Here, a detachment of military police of the Russian army will patrol along the border and will be deployed at a base. The zone is 10 kilometres deep. The rest of the 440-kilometre border will be controlled by Turkey and its Syrian rebel allies. As of noon on Wednesday, Kurdish troops were given less than a week to retreat by at least 30 kilometres. It's a crushing blow to the Kurds, who've lost many key towns. Pictured here is what is thought to be the YPGHQ in Razaline, now draped in the Syrian and Turkish flag. In the city of Kamishli, protesters took to the streets bearing pictures of dead fighters, including prominent politician Hevrin Halaf, who was killed by Turkish-backed forces earlier this month. We lost 11,000 martyrs to protect the people of northeastern Syria and to protect the whole world from the Islamic State group. So we want a safe area under the protection of the United Nations. Amnesty International called the disregard for civilian life during the Turkish offensive shameful. And the U.S. says that Syrian opposition forces have committed war crimes. In the past week, over 7,000 people have fled to refugee camps in Iraq.